The traitor forces stormed towards the Imperial Palace, shouting their war cries and their devotion to the War Master. They were met with miles upon miles of vast trench networks filled with the warriors of the Iron Warriors Legion and heavy weaponry emplacements. The loyalists opened fire with the heavy clatter of bolter fire, searing hiss of las cannon fire, and the deafening boom of missile launchers. So vast was the network of trenches that the warriors of the White Scars were forced to abandon the use of their bikes, leaving them in the wayside as they marched alongside their allies. Slowly though, the traitors began to gain ground, forcing the Iron Warriors back inch by inch, paying in blood for every meter of ground they covered. Lehman Russ and his demonically blessed sons were the spear tip of this traitorous assault, carving their way through the defenses with tooth, claw, and warp-tainted blade. Russ roared like the beast he had now become, carving through the loyalists with ease. After many hours, the Iron Warriors were forced back to the gates of the Imperial Palace itself. They were granted a reprieve. Along the battlements of the fortress-like walls of the palace, the Lunar Wolves opened fire, providing valuable cover fire for the Iron Warriors to fall back and regroup. As the gates were opened to let them through, a horde of screaming berserkers, clad in white and blue, stormed out, their chain blades buzzing and whirring like a frenzied swarm of insects. At their head was the Gladiator King himself, Angron, Primarch of the World Eaters. He carved through the traitors that dared come close. Though numerous and desperate, they were nowhere near the skill level that Angron had desired. He was hoping for a challenge. Through the swirling melee of the combat, Angron and the demon Primarch, Lehman Russ, locked eyes. Angron lowered his massive chain axe, Gorefather, at the demon, and bellowed a challenge at him. Finally, something worth testing his skill against. Lehman Russ roared, and with a thunderous flap of his leathery wings, launched himself towards his berserker of a brother. Sparks flew off both Primarch's blades as they hacked and parried at one another. Their blades locked, and Lehman Russ growled a bestial laugh. He mocked Angron, saying that he had already killed Magnus the Red, and that Angron would soon join him in death. Angron gritted his teeth and spat back at him. Russ had forgotten that Angron had beaten him in a duel before, and he will again. Lehman Russ lunged forward and bit down upon Angron's shoulder, tearing apart the ceramite of his armour and leaving a deep, bloody wound, causing Angron to snarl in pain. Angron used all of his might to push Russ back, before swinging his second chain axe, Gore Child, directly between Lehman Russ's legs, the whirling teeth of the axe biting deep into the demon's groin, causing him to howl like a castrated mutt. Russ bellowed in fury and lashed out with the butt of his weapon, knocking the gladiator king to the dirt. As he raised his sword to finish him off, he felt an intense pain in his forearm. As the World Eater's captain, Khan the Bloody, hacked his own axe into the demon Primarch's flesh, Russ lashed out with a clenched fist, striking Khan with such force that he went flying directly into the gates of the palace with a heavy clang. Khan groaned, disoriented, before blacking out. Lehman Russ roared in triumph. Their victory was assured. <laughs>